you know, I mean, the first week stuff, you had, you, had, you know, a lot of installation. Um, you know, so there's a lot of young guys that are still trying to get caught up and, and figure out what's going on out here on the field at both sides of the ball and then combine them together. Uh, it's tricky. And then two of the days you'd have pads. So, uh, you know, I mean, it's really uh, really an introduction week. But I, I love the energy the guys have had out here on the field, the intensity they've brought, the work ethic. They've, they've, they've kept that level of intensity throughout practice, which, uh, which I've been pretty pleased with. A guy like Chris Jones, uh, high expectations going into the season, but it's his first spring practice. How do you handle a spring practice for him? Ah, uh, you know, we have, well, I mean, for us, we evaluate every single detail. You know, I mean, one is, is he improving technically and all that stuff as a player? I think, uh, talent will take you a little ways, but, uh, you know, I mean, eventually, I mean, he did a lot of things that were, were bad last year. You know, he made some plays because he has some talent. If he wants to be a great player, you got to be technically sound in everything that you do. And, uh, you know, so these are that's the opportunity to learn this. I, you know, I've seen guys really take some, you know, some guys that need that technical work that uh, you really see their fundamentals start to come through. That's the biggest part to me that I want to see out of Jeff said in the first two days he may have been thinking too much about those uh, about those technique and didn't let his personality take over and succeed. Did you see that too? And how do you balance yeah. that? Well, I mean, the first couple days when that pads on too, so you're really thinking about all that stuff. But it, it's it's the balance. This is the time of year you want to do that. And game day, you can't be thinking about anything. You got to go make plays. But what you have to do is be able to find that balance back and forth that you're continually improving technically as a player, knowing what to do, know how to do it, know why you're doing it. Those are important things especially with how fast things go out there on the field. What you some, it just seems like he's taking ownership, not just of the offense, but even the entire team. Well, he's got to be a leader for us. You know, I mean, he's a leader. A quarterback's got to be the leader on offense. And, you know, I think now, um, been here for a while, understands what we're trying to do, understands the game, has played in a bunch of games. Uh, so, you know, I think that, the, the, you know, this is where you see him starting to make that, that, that adjustment from learning to being comfortable in the offense. And um, I think you're really starting to see that. Some of the bullet points, Dan, so they can retain this when they come back to the fall camp in the offense. Well, that's tough. You know, I mean, right now you're looking at this. I mean, it's, it's, I mean the biggest one even right now is retaining what we're going to do Tuesday. they got 72 hours off uh, before we install anything else. So they have 72 hours to digest um, and, and know what's going on. And, and, you know, I mean, one of the things you want to do is you're always looking. There's, there's all different types of learning going out on the field. You know, you have the older guys that are really learning how to master their techniques, the skies. You know, they're they're in grad school level of football out here. Uh, then you have younger guys that are just, you know, in remedial, and they're just trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, but what you want to do, the key is that everybody takes what they've learned, uh, whether it be in knowing in your assignment, uh, in your technique, uh, in all of in, in both of those things. And, and, Take, never take a step backwards. So when you finish spring, you're at a certain level. When you come back in the fall, you're there or better, and then you're continually improving to get higher and you figure out um, how to become a great player. You expected it because you know most of these coaches before, but with the revamped offensive staff, it seems to have just picked up where you left off last season. Yeah. We're not really that revamped, are we? Just got Brian's new. Um, but to me, you know, I mean, offensively, we're, you know, we're, you're seeing we're trying a couple of new little things here and there, and um, uh, some new wrinkles and some new different stuff, but uh, you know, um, I mean, Brian's been around me, and he's uh, so uh, he kind of knows what I'm going to expect as he's catching up. All the other guys have been around, so they kind of they know what they're doing, and, and especially the fact that guys have been around each other for quite a long time uh, on the offense side of the ball certainly helps. I know you had a 